Today I'm going to show you how to build your personal brand and stand out from the crowd. How to make potential customers be drawn to you with five powerful steps to increase your brand presence in today's cluttered online world. And we're starting right now. Hello Mindsetters, it's Dr. Jalen and welcome to today's video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to expand your positive mindset and develop your skill set to grow your online business, you're in the right place. If you want to learn about my bonuses, launches, or having a psychological advantage to develop your business, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss anything. Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon, says your brand is what people say about you when you're not in the room. So what is your brand and how can it affect the place your business has among all the competition? Your brand represents your business and begins with you, your voice, your personality, your face, the trust people feel in you, the warmth you generate. According to Mark, Manciardini, a very successful affiliate marketer and YouTuber, you don't have to add to yourself. You have all you need. People are seeking information and you become the human resource on the internet that they will come to know and trust with their questions. To build your successful brand, consider the following criteria. Your brand is extraordinary. You let your audience know why your value is better and why they come to you instead of other channels. The added worth of your brand encourages people to part with their hard-earned money happily for your services. In fact, the cost almost seems insignificant to the product you are providing for them to solve their problem. The quality your brand causes brand allegiance. People know you and trust what you have to offer. You've created a memorable impression on your audience. Your brand has gained forward movement by your emails and other ways you produce an emotional connection with your buyers. You change your products as necessary to meet the needs of your buyers. Remember, your successful brand will include be extraordinary, provide added worth, quality, a memorable impression, and change to the address of the needs and desires of your audience. So how do you make your brand stand out from the others? First of all, your USP or unique selling proposition defines how you are different from your competitors. What problem do you solve and what benefits you communicate to your customers? Owning a successful business is not about having a unique product or service because many companies are selling the very same product or the same service that you are. The key is that your product must stand out. The best unique selling propositions will address a specific need your ideal customer is struggling with. Here are some company USPs to help you formulate your own USP. Airline sell friendly service. Makeup companies sell hope. Walmart sells bargains. Saddleback leather, a hundred year warranty on their leather. Voodoo's donuts, diverse menu. Domino's pizza, you get fresh hot pizza delivered to your door in 30 minutes or less or it's free. De Beers, a diamond is forever. Mars M&Ms, the melt chocolate that melts in your mouth, not in your hand. FedEx, when it absolutely positively has to be there overnight. Southwest Airlines, we are the low fare airline. And how about Zappos, the best return policy ever. A return policy that removes the fear of buying online and buying shoes that might not fit. Dropbox, Dropbox keeps your files safe, synced, and easy to share. Bring your photos, docs, and videos anywhere and never lose a file again. Stay away from vague USPs such as good quality and low prices, affordable quality since 1982, service with a smile, and excellence in quality and service. Your perfect customer wants something. What do they really want? They need their problem solved. How can your product do that? Remember, they don't want to buy a product. They want to solve a problem. 
Why will your customers choose your business over your competitors? Cosmetics are not just makeup. They represent lifestyle, ideals, glamour, confidence, and style. Can you make your customer a promise? Here's a template from Shopify.com that can help you get specific about your USP. Your brand offers what product or service for what target market to value proposition. Unlike the alternative, we, key differentiator, take time to reflect on this template to help you see where you are different or what areas you need to develop so you do stand out. It takes an average of five to seven brand impressions before someone remembers and recognizes your brand. So it's important to stay consistent with your brand on your Facebook cover page, YouTube channel art, website, blog, homepage, stationary cards and flyers, and any other marketing or social media that you use. Branding is a marketing practice that shapes your brand. It is what your business needs to grab the attention of your ideal customer, turning them into a first-time buyer and then a lifetime customer. Branding helps your business break through the online noise and the clutter to stand out, making an impact that will take your business to the next level. Today, branding is more than a look or a logo, and it has the ability to generate an emotion in the form of a gut feeling reaction from the customer. This is the first step in making that emotional connection between the customer and you, your business and your product. You want your audience to see your logo or hear your tagline, then quickly recall your company. Familiarity with your company will create a comfort, trust, and appreciation that will bring them back again and again. Branding is the action part of establishing your brand that includes strategic steps to make people notice your business. Today, we're going to look at three powerful steps that will make your brand stand out among your competitors. When you walk through these steps, you will be noticed, Customers will be exposed to the brand, five to seven impressions necessary for them to recognize your brand and they will come back again and again. Customers will bond to your brand with trust and loyalty. Let's look at step number one, persona. According to the Oxford Dictionary, persona is the aspect of someone's character that is presented to or perceived by others. How you want others to see you, remember you, YourDictionary.com gives an example of a politician who wants to come off to voters as a regular guy, nice guy who cares about normal people. He uses folksy language, he appears on TV shows, and is congenial, and he is always friendly and joking. His persona is that he is a good guy. Decide what type of persona you want to portray, especially if you are marketing your business on YouTube. Remember, putting a face with your brand causes customers to trust earlier. Will you be the infomercial salesperson or the coach? People are attracted to both personalities. The infomercial person can be louder and tends to use more attention-seeking strategies. The coach is advisory and teaches with confidence as the expert. Choose the style that's most like you and that you can maintain for years to come. Be a person, not a company. Be sincere, receive feedback, and tell your story. Step number two, color. One way to make your business stand out is to design your business color scheme knowing that this will become part of your brand identity. The fonts, graphics, and colors you use should make your brand memorable to your audience. Choosing colors like everything that involves your business is a strategic marketing decision. Because studies have shown that the color of a product influences a customer's purchasing decision by 60 to 80 percent. The importance of color psychology will help you design cover and channel art as well as logo and business cards. There are three main color groups. Primary would be red, yellow, and blue. Secondary would be green, orange, and purple. And tertiary colors are the ones that you get when you mix primary and secondary colors. So colors bring out different emotions. And according to Kelly Moore from 99designs.com, 
Red is the universal sign of excitement, passion, and anger. It draws attention and makes you stand out from the crowd. Is your brand loud, playful, youthful, or modern? Think red. More mature, classic, or serious? Red may not be for you. Red can also mean danger, passion, or urgency, and has the capacity to encourage appetite. Hmm, maybe that's why Frito-Lay and Coca-Cola and Red Robin and Nabisco and Lay's use it. Orange is an invigorating, playful color. Go to orange to stand out from the crowd. It's used less often than red, but still packs an energetic punch. Be cautious when using orange if your brand is trying to appear luxurious, feminine, or serious, as orange does not invoke those traits to customers. Orange stirs up strong emotions, love, creates urgency, encourages appetite and excitement. SoundCloud, Fanta, The Home Depot, Amazon, and Discover major on orange. Now, yellow yoga logos can reflect accessible, sunshiny friendliness. Yellow exudes cheer and your brand will radiate an affordable, youthful energy. Most consumers do not associate yellow with maturity or luxury brands, so think, how do you want your business to be seen? Yellow is also known for grabbing attention, logic, optimism, hospitality, and confidence. It communicates joy. Yellow logos are used by Ikea, Hertz, National Geographic, Best Buy, McDonald's, and Shell. Now, green isn't linked with many brand personality traits, but it does have a strong cultural association. That means you can use green for just about any type of business. Green also can signify luck, nature, relaxation, wealth, envy, harmony, and simplicity. Places such as Whole Foods, Starbucks, Animal Planet, John Deere, and Holiday Inn major on green in their logos. Blue symbolizes trustworthiness and maturity. You should use it for your brand if you want to be taken seriously. One thing to keep in mind, though, is as the classic king of colors, blue appears in over half of all the logos. If you use blue for your brand, you'll need to find a way to stand out. Blue also instills confidence, friendliness, warmth, calmness, enthusiasm, and helps to focus on work. Ford, Facebook, Skype, Walmart, Lowe's, and Samsung major on blue. Purple is where the rainbow gets luxurious. Use purple to appear simultaneously cutting edge and wise. Purple probably gets its luxurious associations because historically, purple dye was very expensive, thus the color was only worn by the very wealthy. While purple is associated with luxury and wealth, it's not seen as an overly serious color. Got a playful, expensive project? Purple's perfect. Emotional words associated with purple include soothing, wealth, creativity, royalty, mystery, wisdom, calming, and success. Yahoo, Lifetime, and HGTV use purple for their logos. From soft millennial pink to neon magenta, pink can give a brand a modern, youthful, luxurious look. Pink is very young and hip. Brown is the least utilized logo color, so if you choose it, you'll be sure to stand out from the competition. You may want to avoid brown if you want your brand to appear feminine. Black, want to look slick, modern, and luxurious? Time to use black. It's simple, giving a black logo a feeling of mystery and exclusiveness with luxury brands. Gray is not quite dark and not quite light. It's the middle ground of mature, classic, and serious. Go darker to add mystery, go lighter to be more accessible. Because it's softer than black, it takes a more muted, serious vibe, giving gray logos a classic feel. And finally, white is the absence of color. When you have a white logo, it must always be paired with another logo color as background, and that color will dominate. When used as an accent or added to another color to make it lighter, white is youthful and economical. It can work for almost any brand. Big companies understand the importance of colors. A study was conducted on color use of the world's top brands and the following percentages of colors were used. 33% were blue, 29% red, 28% black or grayscale, 13% used yellow or gold. Check out color schemes and palettes at colorlovers.com. Free tools for creating color palettes include coolers.com 
CO, Color Mind, Color Designer, Adobe, Color Sheet, Brand Colors, Colors matter. Now you can use the brand colors you want people to connect to emotionally. And step number three, branding assets. Include your logo, business cards, flyers, ads, email stamp, YouTube, URL, slogan, or tagline. Anything that brings your brand to the public eye, whether it's at the grassroots level or online, whether it's organic or paid advertising. Let's take a look at some of these necessary branding assets. Your logo, of course, is crucial for people to identify with your brand. Be careful of free logo services. These generic logos are usually not memorable. They're often overused and do little for helping your business to stand out. In fact, according to Marianne Kipp from 99designs, there are many generic logos to avoid. And here are some examples. Take a look at these pictures. And, and um, these are the types that you want to stay away from. Things to keep in mind to develop a memorable logo. Keep it simple with four or less words under 30 characters, three or less colors, only one design. Don't use thin elements for your artwork and no clip art. You're able to use it over an image. You can add a tagline to it. It works really well, large or small. The icon version for mobile devices or websites would work. It works for product labels. Logo designs should be in multiple formats, including EPS, AI, PDF, and SVG. Remember that thousands of other business sites are using the same free logo tools templates that you see. Two top popular sources to check out for logo design ideas are Behance.net and D-R-I-B-B-B-L-E dot com. Two sites that sell logo designs are GraphicRiver.net and EnvatoElements.com. The five main logo types are symbols like Apple and Checkmark, emblems like BMW and F NFL, Woodmark like Facebook and Coca-Cola, Lettermark, it's a monogram like IBM, and then the combination like Burger King and Warner Brother Pictures. Popular fonts include signature, handwritten, monogram, and decorative. Here are some logo maker sites to check out online. Wix Logo Maker, Playset, Canva, Design Evo, Looks, Inkscape, Gimp. The end goal is to have people immediately think of your brand when they see your logo. In addition to a logo, business cards can be helpful when you're talking to someone about your brand and marketing platform. In fact, not too long ago, I was at the grocery store and when the cashier asked what I was doing today, I told her, working on my YouTube channel. She seemed interested and impressed and asked me what my channel was about. I explained it to her and since she showed interest, I gave her my YouTube channel URL written on a torn off part of my grocery list. I know I'm professional, but I didn't want to miss the opportunity to share my channel with her since she was showing interest. So this instance made me realize it was time to get cards made for my online business. I went to my number one free go-to place for all things related to design, canva.com, and went straight to their business card section. I was able to design a card that stayed congruent with my brand, colors, and images for free. And Canva printed 100 cards sent to me for $17. My cards look great, now I can hand them out whenever the conversation about my YouTube channel comes up. Cards can also be used, of course, as you know, at conferences or masterminds, anywhere that you're going where you're connecting with like-minded people. The other day, I even gave a card to our financial advisor and his assistant. It never hurts to get your brand and picture in the hands of people who may use or even pass along your information. Remember, word of mouth is a powerful marketing tool. And now you have your business card to remind them of who you are and the brand you represent. Follow your logo, brand, colors, style, and images on all your promotional materials, including flyers, advertisements, and social media. A third branding asset that is powerful includes a personal YouTube URL or customized URL. Did you know you can get the customized URL once you have 100 subscribers? Your channel needs to have good content. It must be at least one month old and have a channel icon and channel art image. Once you meet this criteria, log into your 
YouTube channel, then go to your YouTube account settings. Click Advanced Settings in the left column. Scroll down and click on Custom URL. From here, you can get your custom YouTube URL. You can go from a YouTube URL that looks like this to one that looks like this. The second URL looks much more professional on cards and carries your brand. According to some analysts, YouTube channels with a custom URL create more exposure and engagements than non-custom YouTube URLs. An increase in subscribers, views, and engagements has also been noted. So if it's a free service from YouTube and will elevate your brand, why not take advantage of this branding asset? Here's another free fourth branding asset. Have you heard of an email stamp? This is something new that I just heard about not too long ago. This branding tool reminds people of your brand every time you send an email. It's like word of mouth through email. An email stamp makes you stand out among your competitors. It adds sophistication to your brand. And you can see by the picture here that I've captured I'm sharing with you what it looks like. This is yet another way to get your brand into people's visual path and memory because very rarely will they see an email stamp on the emails they receive. Just go to wisestamp.com to design your email signature for free. There are many other ways to make your brand visible through social media sites, websites, blogs, flyers, advertisements, etc. You also become an expert in your field by branding yourself with high quality articles, ebooks, and special reports or courses and webinars. Branding is a necessity. By creating your personal brand, you are showcasing your talents, experience, and worth to your audience. Using these three powerful steps, your persona, color, and branding assets, including logo, business cards, customized YouTube URL, and email stamp, you will make your presence known and rise above your average competitors, attracting customers back again and again. If you liked today's video, please click the like button and share with your friends. You can leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you and how your branding is going for your business. And subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this coming out every week. Also in the description below, you can check out my number one recommendation for building an online affiliate marketing business today. It's the one that I use. I appreciate you so much. Thanks for being here. Wishing you a journey filled with insight, growth, and success. See you in the next video.